It's time for the Rocky Mountain Horror Show. <laughs> Let's start with our outfits. <laughs> yeah. Let me ask you the condescending <laughs> question that uh, that hosts ask the kitties right, who are right. holding up the bag saying trick or treat. Yeah, every suburban mom. You are so cute. What are you supposed to be tonight? <laughs> so this is my outfit for my uh, annual witches night out. Mm. It's something that a friend of mine puts on uh, where basically we go out dressed up as witches and we do little scavenger hunts and have a really nice time. Is this the one where I'm stuck at home? Yep. Uh, uh, it, it's watching your pumpkin soup. Yeah, it's basically a girl's night. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I'm really excited. I went for more of a woodland vibe this year, you know, with the brown hat and stuff, which was such a pain in the butt to find, by the way. Technically, it's a scarecrow hat, but it's long oh, enough. I, I think you it. can get away with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you actually have a different dress that you're going to be wearing under that uh, bustier yeah. <laughs> corset. What do you call the thing you're wearing over uh, the Yeah, top? I would call it like a corset top. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, um... I might wear that dress. I might wear this one. It kind of depends on the weather because the other one is a short dress. Mm. Um, but I do plan on wearing socks with it, so it might be okay. Um, I was actually kind of hoping to make my dress for it, but I just ran out of time. Dang it. And I'm just wearing your standard issue cliche skeleton onesie. <laughs> Which I love, by the way. It actually reminds me a lot of the scene from Donnie Darko, the Halloween scene. Oh, yeah. yeah. Just throw a hoodie over it and you're good. I feel a little ridiculous as a fully grown man <laughs> wearing essentially a onesie. I kind of get it. <laughs> I actually went to a onesie party way back in the day and it was supposed to be like kind of a big deal dance party and it was like kind of piddly and there were like almost no people. And uh, yeah, you feel a little... Silly being in public wearing a onesie, but thankfully we can only see your upper half. Well, and I'll tell so. you, I'll tell you how I feel the silliest when I go to pee in this thing. <laughs> oh, you know you've got the, the romper problem. Yes, I've uh -huh. got the romper problem. <laughs> I had to wiggle out the of this him problem. Uh, yeah, it's not a romper; it's a romp him. <laughs> Thank you for noticing. It was Whitney. Yes. Who clued us into after we talked about the Kit Kat ghost tracks. Mm -hmm. Ghost ghost toast. Ghost toast. <laughs> You're conflating the two. You're now good. I'm getting, this is werewolf tracks. Yes. Yeah. She said, hey, guys, have you tried these? We said, no. <laughs> but we're gonna. <laughs> now we're gonna. <laughs> yeah. And I'm so excited because Reese's is one of my favorite kind of snacks. Right. Like, I think you've noticed in our very movie heavy week that my go-to movie candy is specifically Reese's Pieces. Yeah. Now, I like a good Reese's Peanut Butter Cup, but those ones, they're just so good because I like to hold them in my mouth till they get really, really warm and then <laughs> crush them. And then they're all gooey inside. A oh. burst of peanut buttery chocolate Just flavor. fantastic. And can you read the front of the bag? Can can you describe? Well, yes, I can. What the how the bag describes these werewolf tracks? So they are milk chocolate with a vanilla flavored cream. So okay. I have to assume that this is sort of going to be like a milk chocolate white chocolate duo with a nice little thing of peanut butter in the middle. Yeah, the top is white chocolate. It's a nice little full moon. Which you love. I love As we discussed chocolate. last episode. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, look at that. So it's a Reese's peanut butter cup, mm -hmm. half white chocolate, half milk chocolate. Go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How can you be upset? It's beautiful. That's nice. You know, this is the perfect one for people who can't decide if they want a white chocolate or a milk chocolate one. At first blush, I am hard pressed to describe how it tastes any different from a regular Reese's peanut butter cup. Mm. So I'm going to turn it upside down mm -hmm. and let the white chocolate part hit my taste buds first. Yep. That's exactly what I did too, sushi style. <laughs> mm. Mm. It's sort of like flipping a coin. So basically, you taste whether you're getting a, you flip it and you see if you're getting a milk chocolate or a white chocolate one. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, those are phenomenal. I love them. <laughs> I'm going to do another one totally upside mm -hmm. down. Do it. Why not? See where that gets me. Mm-hmm. Well, and I just love Reese's peanut butter. It's got a different flavor to it, and it's so dang good. And I've been on a huge peanut butter kick lately, mostly for Reese's peanut butter. It's just mm -hmm. better. And mad props to them for constantly reinventing. Mm -hmm. Oh. Like the Reese's pumpkin, the mm. Reese's Christmas tree. So cute. The Reese's egg at mm -hmm. Easter. Yeah, and they've got jack-o'-lanterns, and they are doing ghosts now, too. Are for they? the white chocolate ones, which makes so much more sense. Okay, that second one, 
I got a little bit more of the white chocolate mm -hmm. feel. Yeah. Which I'm not a huge fan of, mm -hmm. but in this case, it sort of adds to the creaminess of the milk chocolate. I think so. It's I like having good. a Reese's peanut butter cup with maybe a little glass of milk. I could see that. Well, and I think it's interesting that they call it vanilla flavored cream. I have to assume it's because it doesn't meet the standard to be called chocolate. Right. <laughs> I'm not mad about it because honestly, it's delicious. I'd steal these out of my oh. kids' collection on absolutely <laughs> on Halloween night. Forget the Switch Witch. I'm just taking them. Yeah, you won't even know. <laughs> yeah, they'll probably be one of the few candies they chose to keep, and I'm still taking them. I don't care. Oh, you ate those, honey. What do you mean? 